All right, let's see if we can pick up the next one. Born again anima. In order to receive this, you must be equipped with it. Oh. Just kidding. God damn, why didn't you correctly guess what it wanted you to do this time? Uh, upon completing this quest, you will receive anima buffer board. Yes. Born again anima. Ardashir seems eager to tell you something. Cat, you come at a most opportune time, my friend. Repairs on the processing node are nearly complete. A pity, though, that such repairs are beyond my field of expertise. I have had no choice but to call on Geralt for assistance. Huh. When one of the last time them dainty little hands of yours touched a hammer. How about giving credit where it's due for a change, eh? Or better yet, do some bloody work yourself. What we do here calls for more than mere brawn. Though, if truth be told, I have not the time to study the literature pertinent to such repairs. Very well. If there is more work to be done, I shall see to it personally. It will not be said that Ardashir Balak stood idly by while some topper fil filled duties in his stead. You don't half have a mouth on you, do you? All right, then, how about fetching me them materials for that new weapon you asked for? And take Cat with you. Not that I don't trust you, mind. It's just too much work for one. If you would insist he accompany me, then so be it. Uh huh. All right, then. Cat, there's work to be done. I would have you handle the more, shall we say, exotic items he has requested. A rare gemstone from Amdapur, a magic doll from the Great Guba Library, and molten rock from Samal. Strange to think such a haphazard collection of items can be forged into a weapon. Then again, I once doubted the favorable effects of alcohol on his smithing. At any rate, I shall see to this remaining three oddities on the list. Hopefully, I will not keep you waiting too long. I don't remember this at all. Uh, born again anima cannot be abandoned. All right. Okay, I guess with this bow, I will have to go through those at some point. There we go. I don't want to like screw someone over with the stuff, so. Yes, that counted. So just having it in my mind. for opening chests. I was the one who was in chests. All right, one more. Thank you, Anna. Thank you, Quinn, for helping with that dungeon. <laughs> that you could. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Fender, for helping so much today. Oh. All right. There you are. Did you bring what I asked for? Here you go. Oh, all three of these were for that. Got it. That's why I was like, what are these? Good work, lad. And none the worse for wear, which is more than I can say for his highness here. Hmm. <laughs> If you have time to waste on insults, then I take it we may assume your work on your on the processing note is finished. Repairs like that I can do with my eyes closed. Finished them ages ago. Just been waiting for you two to show up. Excellent. At last we can commence our work on the new soul stone. I trust I can count on you for assistance once more. Looks like you'll be busy with your toys for a bit. In that case, reckon I'll go put back a few. Geralt, I will not begrudge you a drink or two, as is your wont. Just promise me that the work will be done. With all the materials at hand, you could perform such a trifling task with your eyes closed, no? Cheeky little fine, but you best hurry along with the soul stone, you hear? Uh. Now then, let me explain our next course of action. First and foremost, I will need your help with creating a new soul stone. It is a rather involved process, but with your help, I have no doubt everything will proceed swimmingly. Once finished, we will also need to ensure the anima is duly prepared for the transfer. 
Although not a complex procedure, it is without question the most vital. My most recent discovery, an etheric verification device, should prove quite useful here. But further explanations regarding that can wait until later. When you are ready to begin work on the Soul Stone, pray activate the processing node. Okay. Processing node! Processing, processing. Okay. Beep, beep. Initializing. Please set desired parameters. Well, well, it works. Give me a moment while I ready the node. There. All we require now are materials for the Soulstone's creation. And for that, I turn to your unrivaled talent for procurement. Now, now. If we are to preserve the anima, we cannot falter now. After all, there is yet another crucial step to be taken before the Soulstone is complete. For that, we will require the verification node. But let us not get ahead of ourselves. There is still much to do. You need not concern yourself with this device until we are finished with the processing node. Okay. You can now accept the quest, some assembly required from the processing node. To continue progression in the quest, born again anima, you must complete the quest, some assembly required, to obtain a new soul stone. Ah! Some assembly required. The processing node floats idly, waiting for commands. Okay, Jesus Christ. Beep, beep. Verifying system parameters. System parameters verified. Beep. Please insert materials. Ready to begin work on the Soul Stone? Excellent. Let us begin by going over the request requisite materials. Now it bears mentioning that mine is a new method for Soul Stone creation. Rather than taking an existing stone and enchanting it, we will fashion a composite of high purity crystals. These crystals are commonly common enough. Your hand is freaking out, frame rate. What the? And even I should be able to procure them. The catalyst for this process, however, will prove more elusive. Whoa. A peculiar fusion of crystal and dark matter known as Numite. It is essential to this unique form of soulstone synthesis. Unfortunately, I know not how or where one might obtain it. I have only seen a single specimen in my master's laboratory, and though it pains me to admit it, I never thought to inquire about its origins. I am afraid I must return to your adventurer's resourcefulness to acquire the new might we require. By my calculations, we will need no less than 15 to ensure a successful fusion. It is no easy task, but it is the only way to make our soul stone. You know what, I actually have that. I knew I could count on you. When you have the requisite new might, return here and load them into the processing node. Good luck, cat. Fun fact, I didn't know what else to do with my grand company seals, so what did I do? Bought 15 new might. The new might requested by Artist Shear can be obtained through various means. Speak with other players and share information to discover grand company seals. There, that's what I did. Already done. Forging a new soul stone. This is what it looks like. It can be bought at the company, grand company. I did it through uh, Twin Adders. System parameters verified. Beep. Please insert materials. Here you go, buddy. I got you. Catalyst detected. Analyzing. Analyzing. Catalyst drive it full capacity. Mineral, huh, mineral quality, optimal. Ah, you have the new mite. Excellent work. I will ready the crystals at once. Mm -hmm. What? Uh oh. The 
crystals are all accounted for. Now to load them into the processing node. Where did they go? That should do it. Now, processing node. Initiate the Soulstone Synthesis Protocol. Beep. Unable to initiate protocol. Version 10 of the operating system is required to proceed. Do you wish to upgrade? Upgrade? I'm not sure I want to. Upgrade requested. Do you agree to the terms and conditions of use as stipulated by the Allegan Research Council? But I... Uh, yes, yes, I agree. Will you please just initiate the synthesis protocol? Beep, beep. Update complete. Rebooting system. Beep. Initiating synthesis protocol. Being locked out of an update. Beep, beep. Synthesis complete. Margin of error within acceptable parameters. It worked! It worked! Pray keep that soul stone safe, my friend. We shall have need of it when you are ready to work with another anima. I'm fucking ready. Just give it to me. My word. That's what she said. <laughs> God damn it. That's fair. With it in my inventory, access the verification note. Oh my god. Beep, beep. Please present specimen for analysis. So, Cat, what do you think? As fortune would have it, I happened upon this node when searching for salvageable materials to repair the processing node. It has the ability to analyze the ethereal composition of any object placed before it, a function crucial to our work. In order to transfer the anima's essence to the new soul stone, we must find... We must first sever the link to its previous vessel, present vessel. But this is not without incredible risk. For you see, in the instant it becomes unbound, there is a danger that it will dissipate into the aether. Its life would be extinguished in the blink of an eye. After much research into the manipulation of Aether, I learned of the means to preserve the anima long enough to complete the process. Etheric condensation. The anima is, after all, a creature compo composed entirely of condensed Aether. If it were to be condensed further, it should prove robust enough to survive the transfer. Thanks to the anima weapon's treatment of Ceruleum, I dare say its ability to absorb naturally occurring Aether thereby increasing the anima's death city is heightened. It's only a matter of reaching levels needed for our purposes. To that end, I would ask that you resume your feats of daring do and monitor the anima with this device. It should indicate when the anima has reached sufficient density levels be based on my estimates. When the anima is ready, return here and place its vessel in the verification node. I've programmed it to run a simulation of the transfer process based on the anima's density. When the verification node has confirmed the chance of failure is all but eliminated, we can proceed to the next phase of our plan. Let's go! Completing certain activities while equipped with your anima weapon will increase its etheric density. Please be advised that etheric density cannot be increased when its durability is zero. By using the anima glass, it is possible to visually verify your progress. Okay. We are now locked out until we do that. Newborn soulstone. I'm going to put that down here. And if we... Can we use it? How do we... Does it mean this one? Oh, this is the glass to know. Oh. I'm learning. Okay, hold on a second. Okay. Yours is great strength to be judged against, but do I believe I'm improving? I did not read that fast enough. But basically, when I think it also lets you know when it's done, but when all of these symbols light up, you are done. I'm gonna be Googling what I need to do to get this all up, but basically a lot of spamming one of the Alexanders. <laughs> yeah, Alexander reads Savage. Oh, Savage. The most, apparently. Yeah. 
She is vibrating. This power is unlike anything I've experienced before. Oh my god. Wait. Say that again. So intense, so focused. I, I think I'm ready, Cat. This sounds... Makes me a little Only uncomfortable. Only that way if you need phones. Oh, okay. So, verification node. Let's go. Beep, beep. Please present specimen for analysis. Analyzing. Beginning simulation. Etheric density exceeds prescribed parameters. Beep. Chance of failure estimated at 0.00000001%. I think I got the zeros right. Excellent. With readings like this, our work should be but a matter of course. A matter of course? Take the anima weapon and the soul stone to Geralt. At last, we shall move the anima to its new permanent vessel. <gasps> permanent vessel, Chad? Ah! Uh Technically, this is the last step, kind of, but then, like, if you want to be able to die it, you go farther, which I will. Nope. Oh, Geralt. I need it not equipped, right? Yep. Finish the soul stone. Let's have it then. The weapon too. Here you go. Oh, it didn't look like that in my inventory. Well, let's get to it. Oh, hard to share. You need an TL. I can hear just fine. I just... I just needed a moment. A moment? What the hell's for? And what's with the gloom all of a sudden? Wait a second. You ain't scared, are you? Scared? Scared? I'm absolutely terrified! What if something should go wrong? Years of hard work and research would be squandered. More importantly, an innocent new life would be lost. I could never forgive myself should the unthinkable befall the anima. So that's it then? You're just planning to run with nothing to show but a trail of piss on your way home <laughs> after all you've done to get this far? And what about Cat? He fought to the seventh hell and back to get the anima ready for this. And me? You've held me hostage here, hammering new weapons day after day, and this one's my best yet. You'd be denying the world a masterpiece what puts all other smiths to shame. And sure, he might be a self-serving, preening little gobshite, but I've seen my fair share of scholars, and you're the cleverest little gobshite I've ever met. Should go without saying the soul stone you made is perfect, so I get so bothered over nothing. Geralt, I... As you say, we have no reason to be concerned. Let us begin by transferring the anima to the new soul stone. I will require the anima glass, if you would be so kind. Oh, okay, soul stone was different than the anima glass. That's why it looked different. My bad. Fender does a perfect Geralt. I would have fucked that up so good. Is done. Quickly now, Geralt. The anima will not last long. Get the soul stone. Set the soul stone? I might have read that funny. He's going. Okay. He's excited. I remember trying to do Geralt in the beginning. He limit broke on that thing. And uh, I tripped all over my words, so... Is he 
crying or sweating? Sweating. How do you like that? The pinnacle of perfection, forged from blood, sweat, and tears. Maybe it was both. Maybe it was Maybelline. <laughs> That's rude to say to Carol, who has no hair. And it, wait, is Maybelline makeup or hair? Of- it's makeup. Wait, fuck! <laughs> Maybe it is Maybelline, I don't know. And it is all yours, Cat. You have more than earned it. <laughs> I love the design. Feast your eyes on Terpander. The gods themselves would weep before this beauty. If I could keep this glow, I fucking would. But I need to do the last step. I like the yellow the most, though. I should hope the anima is as pleased as we are. Care to summon it forth, cat? Wait, where is she? But where is the anima? Does it not answer your call? No, it cannot be. Did, did it... Did it not survive the transfer? Oh! She was just trolling us. Good morning, cat. Is something the matter? You seem concerned. Wondrous it was. A great power welled up within me, the likes of which I've never felt before. For a fleeting moment I was drifting, and then there was a burst of color and light. So warm, so comforting was the glow that I could feel myself nodding off to sleep. But then I heard your voice and I woke with a start. I've never felt so alive. It's as if I have been born anew. Born anew. Yes, in a sense that is indeed what has happened. You've grown strong and so much so that you no longer need to rely on others. Yes, now you are free. Free to go forth with Cat, to see distant lands and embark on all the adventures this realm has to offer. Yes, so free. So free. Free to follow this one person. <laughs> In overcoming such trials and travails together, I dare say you two have become quite the pair. Less adventurer and his left th and his left arm. Less adventurer and his arm than fast friends. Fast friends? Though I am but a youth of seventeen summers, I know what it means to respect and care for another. This is the sort of true kinship I see in you. It gladdens me to hear such praise. My aim, my only aim now is to become stronger and prove myself a faithful friend to Cat. Your adventures with, with Cat will doubtless carry you to distant lands where you will confront foes the likes of which I can scarce imagine. But no matter the challenge, you must rise to overcome it, together as true friends do. When you return from such travels, I should very much like to hear your tales of triumph. We have done it, Cat. The anima shall enjoy life in all of its splendor. 
Now and forevermore, thanks to your selfless dedication, words fail to express my gratitude. Or hard cheer. I've been meaning to tell you, but I fixed up the wings on this little one too, just like you asked. What? Uh, a doll? Thank you, Geralt. All that remains to do is to calibrate the joints and it will be complete. It's a ball jointed doll? What? Ah, yes. There is another matter I would discuss with you, but doubtless you are weary after such a long day. I bid you safe travels home and a well-earned respite. Let us speak again when you return to Azisla. When next you return. Which is right now. What is that? We did it! Born again anima is done. But what is that? Your anima weapon has been reborn. The spirit within imbued with newfound power. It's done! Turpander. 